Hey dads and lads, it's Roke Bear here bringing you a, a video for like the first time in like 18 centuries. Let's, yeah, let's go, okay. <laughs> it's kind of a Roblox, yeah, well definitely it's Roblox, but I mean, it's kind of a, not really building. It's, I guess I'm gonna kind of title this video, uh, something like how to test on items in studio. Or how to put items on PCs, or clothing, I mean. Clothing and hats, rather. Because many times i found myself saying, Hey, does that clothing actually match that? And most of the times it didn't. <laughs> so, I'm trying to make you guys a tutorial on how to test that out. Because I know this would have been very useful for me a long time ago. Basically, I kind of worked ahead a bit. Because, well... Holy fudge, this hat was hard to put on. I don't know what Roblox did with this, these stupid, uh, these accessories. But my gosh, they're awful to work with, let me tell you. I deleted, like, this attached to head. I don't know how to use these, okay? I like the old hats better. Bring them back. Bring back the freaking, uh, advanced tools or whatever they're called. I don't even remember. Insert or whatever. But, uh, I'm kind of rambling, but, uh, what you want to do is to first get a hat, okay? If you want hats. If you if you don't want hats and you want clothing, skip skip a little in the video. I'll probably have it in the description, or someone probably comment it. So go check that out. Uh, I'm trying to model, I don't even freaking remember what this, the Snowy Red Ice 9 Drone Helm. Oh, boy, that's a, that's a, that's a great name for a hat. But, uh. Uh, this came out of, like, some winter crate or something. And I found it in my avatar, so I was like, hey, might as well look for something to match that. So, uh, I kind of looked around. Oh, well, we better get the hat first, so I keep forgetting. Okay, so if you already own the hat, you just want to go to your avatar and be like, no, screw that. And be, hey, yo, what, what's popping? And then you just put it on. You know, as, as you can see here, I have it on. With these, bam, I don't know. What you want to do is make sure you're logged in with Studio, or else you won't be able to, uh, you know. You want to test this, baby. Then you'll see you're in the game testing out. Don't mind this stuff. I'm. This is just, like, my random building place, and my god, this chair's huge. But, uh, yeah. Don't mind that. Working with some avatars and stuff. This is, this is what we're dealing with here. So, you see, this is the hat we're trying to model, obviously. Or I am at least. You want to go to your workspace, and you want to find player one, which is your character, as you can tell. And what you want to do is open that up, and then you see the hat, which which the one I'm trying to model is the snowy ice drone. So you want to copy that. All right, then we can stop testing. Paste. What? Where the fudge? Exp do I break my explorer? That's never happened before. Actually, I'm gonna save. That's never happened before. What the fudge just happened? I don't even know. It's like my explorer just evaporated from all space. There it is. It's a little weird. I guess we don't have it in our... Yeah, we don't have it anymore. I'm just gonna hurry up, run through, and grab it. Okay. Now that we have this baby. What the fuck? Yeah, this is the stupid, uh... My explorer is just being a piece of crap! This... Okay. This is kind of hard to explain without being able to do it, but you just want to scale... Screw it. I swear, Explore, if you keep breaking like this, you're gonna make me look bad. It's probably like some obvious thing you can fix, but I just don't know what to do. Okay, so we have our hat. There, the snowy ice drone. It's probably gonna be locked. 
you just want to delete the touch interest that just makes you pick it up whenever you walk over it if you're a player and then the hat attachment delete that crap because we're, we're just looking at it and also delete the weld because I'll show you guys what to do and then if you want to you can just move this into the workspace and delete that which I recommend I didn't make this okay and it's probably gonna be locked what you want to do is you want to come down in your properties to where you see behavior and then locked you uncheck that box and I can move the pupper around and this is I really don't want to do this on camera because this is actually gonna take ages it literally took me like 10 minutes before I started recording to do this you wanna get it on the head it's not getting on the head that sucks I'll show you what sucks uh, I need to move it up one. Good enough. I mean, this is exact right here. But, you know, that's fine. And, uh, yeah, also anchor that puppy in there so it doesn't move about. And then let's just make sure this actually works. Okay, it's fine. Okay. Okay, we gotta hurry. Um,. Say you don't have the hat and you're just looking for it. Say I want the beautiful hair for beautiful people. Yeah, say I want this and bam, I have the hat now. And it's actually one of the old hats, which all you have to do is just freaking drag that on your dude. Okay, maybe not. You know what? It normally would work. Just screw this. We're not working with that right now. Alright, now you have your hat, we're gonna move on to clothes. Okay. So, I didn't get to the pants part, because the pants weren't freaking working for me. So, we're gonna learn here with Sensei, sen Senpai Sensei. Okay, screw it, you just stand there and don't, don't be organized. What you wanna do is you wanna open up your model dude. No, let's do it on someone we don't, actually don't have it already on. Okay, this guy. Open it up. And, uh, if you guys want, I'll have this, uh, template, I'll publish it, and I'll leave it in the description if you guys want just a humanoid with body parts and shirt and pants. I'll have that in the description if you guys want to pick that up. Or you can just search, like, NPC in the toolbox. But, uh, then you want the, a shirt, and it's gonna ask you for the shirt template. Now, you see, this is the fun part, you want to find your shirt. I think this is the one I was happy with. So, you see this ID here, with all the numbers and stuff. To find the template, yeah, this is the shirt itself, you can't use this whenever you're trying to put in the texture, you have to have the uh, template of the hat. So to do that, you just want to subtract a 1, so just make that 8. Boom! It doesn't work all the time, I'll show you guys an example of that with these guys, because they don't work. But, uh... Yeah, you just want to copy this now. Oh, fudge. This video is getting longer than I wanted it to. I'm sorry to take up your time, guys. Uh, you just paste that in there, and boom, you have the shirt. And as you can tell, that shirt fits the hat quite nicely, in my opinion. I mean, the snow on the shoulders I could go without, like if it, there was just like a big snow patch, or just none at all. I mean, I don't know, it's, 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 it's fine. Now, pants. It's the same thing with the shirt, only you do it with pants. Problem is, these pants, when you subtract one, it leads you to a solid model. Which, actually, I didn't actually try if that would work. I don't, I doubt it will, to be honest. Yeah, not at all. Okay, so, let's pull up another one just say I wanted that okay yeah sure it's the same handle it'll do subtract one that's not fudging <laughs> some green military there there's the baby okay we're gonna copy that and paste that in the pants and boom, because these are different, like, shirts and pants. They're not going to really match. Cause these are a little, I don't know how to describe them. They're a little greener. 
But, uh, and that's it. And you can just actually just look at it from here. Like, look at the details. Like, hey, man, does that blend? Or you can actually go in and play and be like, hey, man. It's like a gander it would look like it head level, I guess. Like other people would see it as. So, uh, that's what I'm talking about. These, I do not understand these accessories at all, if you haven't noticed. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, if this helped you guys, please leave a like, comment down below if you need help. I can try to do my best, or I'm sure someone else in the community will help, because I'm, I'm not that great, to be honest. <laughs> I'm just kind of getting back from a large break, but, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I just gonna okay. See you next time, perhaps.